So today's learning intention is determining the equation of a parabola. Our national five essential skills are multiplying out brackets and working with integers. So let's get started. So our prior knowledge. So if a parabola has roots x equals a number a and y equals another number b, then the equation of the parabola is given by the general form y equals some constant k times x minus a times x minus b. In the case of constant value, that can be determined if we know one other point on the parabola. Now you've seen this at National 5 level. We'll start off at National 5 level and we'll extend it into something a little bit more tricky into a higher grade level. Let's try an example then. So let's look at the points 1, 0, 3, 0 and 0, 6 all lie on a parabola. So what we've been told, we've been told the roots of the parabola and we've been told the y-intercept of the parabola. So this is determine the equation of the parabola. Now remember, parabolas are just quadratic functions. So starting off, the equation of any parabola, so write down the general form, is given by y equals k times x minus a times x minus b. So what values are a and b? Well, they're just the roots. So one root, x equals a, and the other root is x equals b. So we can find the roots from the information we've been given. So the roots are where it cuts the x-axis. It cuts the x-axis at x equals 1 and x equals 3. So a equals 1 and b equals 3. Now it doesn't matter which way around you put the roots. I could have put a equals 3 and b equals 1. It doesn't matter. When they go into the brackets, we're just multiplying two numbers together. It doesn't matter. So subbing into the general form, that gives me y equals k times x minus 1 times x minus 3. Now I have to find out what this constant k is. Now I said before, we can find that out if we know any other point on the parabola. So we've been given the point 0, 6. It's the y-intercept, so I can use that. Now remember, when you've got coordinates, the point 0, 6 is just telling me that a point in the line is x equals 0, y equals 6. So sub those two values into the equation. That gives me 6 equals k times 0 minus 1 times 0 minus 3. Multiplying out, that's going to give me 6 equals 3 times k. Just be careful, minus 1 times minus 3 is a plus 3. Again, solving it, k equals 2. So back up again, let's have a look. That's going to give me y equals 2 times x minus 1, x minus 3. I'm taking k equals 2 and subbed it back up into the equation. I'm not quite finished. I can then multiply the brackets and rearrange it into the general form of a parabola of a quadratic. And that gives me y equals 2x squared minus 8x plus 6. Now I could then um, graph that easily. Now example 2. So I've now been told the points 3, 0, minus 3, 0 and 0, 18 all lie on a parabola. So if I think about what I've been given, I've been given some points. So I've been given the roots of the equation and I've also been given the y-intercept. Now you're not always told the y-intercept, you can be told any point on the parabola. I've been given these points and I've been asked to determine the equation of the parabola. Example 2. The points 3, 0, negative 3, 0 and 0, 18 all lie in a parabola. I have to determine the equation of this parabola. So think about the information you've been given. I've been given the two points where it cuts the x-axis, I've been given the roots. It's going to cut at x equals 3 and x equals minus 3. I've also been given the point 0, 18. It's the y-intercept of this parabola. is where it cuts the y-axis. So starting off, I'm going to write down the general form. The equation of any parabola is given by y equals k times x minus a times x minus b. The roots are x equals a and like x equals b. So I'm going to substitute them in. I'm using the points x equals 3 and x equals minus 3. So a is 3 and b is minus 3. Again, it doesn't matter which way around you put them in. So y equals k times x minus 3 and x minus minus 3, double negative, remember. So an extra step goes in. So y equals k times x minus 3 and x plus 3. So now I have to find out what this constant k is. So I've got other information here. I've been told that the y-intercept is 0, 18. 
So that's just the point x equals 0 when y equals 18. And I can sub those values into the equation to give me 18 equals k times 0 minus 3 times 0 plus 3. So doing the maths, I've got 18 equals minus 9k. And rearranging, I've got k equals negative 2. So back in again, I've got y equals minus 2 times x minus 3, x plus 3. Multiplying out and rearranging, I've got y equals minus 2x squared plus 18. Example 3. The point 0, 0, 6, 0 and 3 minus 27 all lie on a parabola. Determine the equation of the parabola. So again, what information are you being given? I'm being given the roots, 0, 0, the origin, and x equals 6. I've also been given the point 3 minus 27. Now that's not the y-intercept this time. That's just a random point on the parabola. But I can still use that information. So starting point, as always, is write down the equation of any parabola. So the general form is y equals k times x minus a, x minus b. a and b are the roots. So I've got the roots x equals 0 and x equals 6. So I can write down a equals 0 and b equals 6. Sub them into the equation. I've got y equals k times x minus 0 and x minus 6. I need to find the constant k, so I'm going to sub in the values x equals 3 when y equals minus 27 into this equation. So I've got minus 27 equals k times 3 minus 0 and 3 minus 6. Doing the maths, not playing out, I've got minus 27 equals minus 9k. Rearranging k equals 3. I put k back into my equation. I've got y equals 3x times x minus 6. Now remember that x minus 0 just simplifies to x here. It's a little bit different. Multiply out the brackets. y equals 3x squared minus 18x. And that's fine. There's no, there's no term here at the end. There's no c value we're used to, but that's okay. Because, it, remember, look up. It cuts the... Um, it cuts the y-axis at the origin. So I wouldn't expect to see a plus c value or anything like that at all there. So that all makes sense to me. Right, try these examples on your own. Find the equation of the parabola through these points. And we've got examples 1, 2 and 3. Now for example 3, be careful. I've said think about it. There's a problem here. You've only got one root. Mm, one root. Or have you got two equal roots? So just think about that one. Here's something something to help you. Double check your answer by factorising and trying to sketch it. Now does your answer have the same roots as expected? In case once you get your answer, factorise it. Have a look. Do you have the same roots that you've just been told in the question? You can put me on pause, have a go in your jotter and then come back and check your answers. So here's the answers. So I've got the first one, question 1, y equals 2x squared minus 2. Question 2, y equals 3x squared plus 6x minus 24. And question 3, y equals 4x squared minus 16x plus 16. So how did you get on today? Remember to assess your progress. Red, amber or green? Green, if you're good to go, you're getting all right and you've got no problems. Um, but if you've still got some questions, come into class, get your hands up straight away and ask about the video, about any of the work or the examples you've been trying. And red if you're really struggling, need extra help. Right, what have we learned today? We've been learning to determine the equation of a quadratic, a parabola. We follow the steps. Write down the general equation of a parabola. y equals k times x minus a times x minus b. The roots are x equals a and x equals b, and watch out for equal roots like in question 3 there. Given a point on the line, any point on the line, you can find the constant c. That's us finished for today. I'll see you in class soon.